superstition. You want to hear superstitions? Oh, my yeah. God. I think everybody would. Yeah. Not just me. <laughs> I played this for Stevie. Oh. In 2008, January. Yeah. Had a... Meeting. And the only reason why I even got to meet him was because he knew my father and wanted to know and wanted to give me condolences <laughs> upon my father's death. Had it, but it had only it had already been like five no five or six years later after Dad died. Because Dad used to um, produce with him and behind the scenes he used to write songs and it was always quiet because um, they were just friends and and um, also my dad was um, welcomed to the people that were hanging around Motown at the time back in the 70s because after all he had just done, gotten done doing the going out of my head song with with um, Bill Anthony and the Imperials right so so anyway, I arranged this again once on the acoustic sticks, string guitar, and um, a friend of mine who wanted to introduce us, um, me to Stevie, said, you should play this in front of Stevie. Of course, I was nervous and said no, and we fought for about six months. Is that I bird said, song? Yeah, bird song. bird song, Edwin Bird song. I said, I'm not going to play that in front of Stevie Wonder. He is a demigod. He is, you know, <laughs> someone who I worship and adore, and there's no way I'm going to play in front of that man. No way, Jose. But later on, I came up with, a, about a year later, I came up with an arrangement, and I showed it to him, and he says, well, you can try it. It's still a little green, which it was, but this is what I came up with. So we met Stevie in L.A. at his studio at Wonder Man Studios, or Wonderland Studios, and played this song for him. It goes like this. <laughs> Sing along.
because when I did that song, it was not yet done, it was not yet polished, and so that was a consequence of of me not being able to open for him, because Edwin wanted me to open for him at one of his concerts somewhere, I, you know, and I said, no, I'm not opening for Stevie Wonder. Wow. <laughs> because, but, but it wasn't polished, you know, and uh, that was the version. So, Stevie, so I didn't win him over. <laughs> but there's a chance that I might get to see him again, though. Um, oh. So I might get a chance. You have to win you over, my darling. Well, you know what? You have to win you over. Okay, Auntie. All right. <laughs> you know, when you played plugged in, like at some of these, like Buffalo, where they had really killer sound or something, or, I mean, or, or say in a really good studio, if you were to cut a thing and just send it to him, you know what? He would listen to it because he knows you, and he would listen to it. Right. I haven't been able to capture a live performance of it yet. Yeah. So he I need does to, but even a studio version of it, you know? If that works, if we got some good audio. Because he, he, he could on that one too. Yeah, but it's he not has to hear it, it you know what I'm saying? Can't you run this recording the man can't through see. a program? Thing well, like. I mean, uh, it could probably be doctored up, but uh, that yes to be seen. But, you know, you'll, you'll have plenty of opportunity. To, but, you know, next, next time you yeah, or Steve, know. Steve, hey, you know, Steve Webb. The studio is uh, yeah. waiting Steve for you to yeah, go, 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 go. Well, it's nice to meet you, Claudette. Well, you betcha. Uh, I betcha, 